Good evening, everyone. This is Jennifer again, and I am here to do a review on the Honey Collection that I unboxed with you all a couple of videos ago. Um, I thought this would be a good video because I am really enjoying this collection. I am really enjoying this purchase. Um, I did not purchase everything from the Honey Collection because they did have a Honey Lotion. They had um, a smaller honey wash that I seen online. And they also had a little honey, look like a honey balm for the lips. I did not purchase that. I did not even see that on the Victoria's Secret website when I purchased. When I went online and I looked up the honey collection, I seen those extra um, items. But like I said, the things that I purchased was the honey mist. The honey butter, the honey scrub, and I actually purchased two of these. The honey wash and the honey oil. Out of all of these items here, the one that I am enjoying the most is the honey scrub. I'm enjoying the smell, the consistency, and it says nourishing it actually is nourishing it leaves a shine on the skin um it's smooth to the touch after you rinse the sugar scrub off it still has a glisten or a shine to your skin this is the one thing that i purchased and this was originally why i purchased the collection was to get this scrub but this is the one thing that I am enjoying out of this line the most. I have used this scrub oh, three times, I believe. I've enjoyed the smell of the scrub and I've most so enjoyed how it goes over the skin, over the body. This is number one. My least um, favorite of the collection is this mist. I sprayed the mist on me one day. I've only used this once. And it was making me sick of the stomach. It was just a little too sweet. Um, I don't know if it was because it was in combination of everything, but this has a different smell than the rest of this. Each one, the scent varies. The strongest scent is here with the scrub. The sweetest scent is the mist. Between the scrub and the oil, the oil was another thing that when I seen that they offered the oil, I was ready to get it. The thing that I purchased that I was iffy about was the body wash. Because I have eczema, I do not like to get body washes that have a lot of fragrance in them. And generally, things that come from Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works, Pink, it's um, based around a lot of fragrance. I don't mind spraying my clothes down. I don't mind spraying my inner part of my wrist arm um, down. But I do not like to put a lot of fragrance-based um, body washes directly on my skin. I do not use, um, I use very little bubble bath. I will use the Dr. Teal's bubble bath. I will use body wash as bubble bath. And so uh, the body washes that I use are the Native and the Dove. And so that would be like my, my branch out when it comes to like if I want some bubbles in the water. But um, I hadn't purchased anything fragrance wise shower gel wash bubble bath or anything from Victoria's Secret um, Bath and Body Works or the pink line in years um, I can't even use the brand Olay in the body wash it flared up my eczema I use the um, flavor or the smell of the shea and usually anything that is either cocoa based, shea butter, is generally like on a neutral base for me. And even um, cucumber is like neutral for me. 
but that Olay Shea Butter um, Body Wash, it was just too fragrant for me and it flared me up. So I had to discontinue the body wash. I can use the soap, but I cannot use the body wash. And so if it's too highly fragranced, I kind of stay away from it. I purchased this just as a tryout. I knew it wasn't going to be something that I used every day because I just don't trust highly fragranced um, shower gels, body washes on an everyday basis. I didn't even know if this was going to be moisturizing enough for me to use on a regular basis. I have been very surprised with this. I have used this body wash is down to here. Since I began um, using it after the unboxing, I've used this three, maybe four times. It does not take much. It gives a great lather. It um, gives a great slip for the body. And it's, it's semi-moisturizing. It is semi-moisturizing. So far, I have not had any bad reactions with this wash. I would recommend it because you do not have to use much. I use an exfoliating washcloth where it's exfoliating on one side and it is a um, terry cloth on the other side or towel material on the other side. And so I exfoliate every day. Um, this here, I'm able to do my whole body. Sometimes I be upset because the amount of suds and bubbles that's left in here because I use another exfoliating rag for my back. The ones that um, stretch out that you can um, get your back all the way from top to bottom. And sometimes I be having so much suds and bubbles with the little bit that I've used on my washcloth. I be upset that I have to rinse the cloth out. And, and get rid of the bubbles that I can't put those bubbles on the rag to do my back. So this here is great. Um, the first time I used it, I noticed one spot looked like I wanted to get a tingle. Um, but after that, it was fine. It was great. But it, I'm still at a place with it because it does have the fragrance that I would not use that seven days a week. I would not. I wouldn't use anything here seven days a week, but maybe the oil. Because the fragrance in the oil is so light that this would be the only thing if I was going to use seven days a week. I use um, different oils when getting out the shower. I use the aloe oil um, by Johnson & Johnson or the Equate brand. I use the lavender and surprisingly, I don't even like the smell of lavender. That's why when I found out that they offer um, three different types of the with the honey line, it's a honey lavender and a honey ginger. I wouldn't be opposed to smelling it, but I wouldn't blind buy it like I bought the honey. I just felt like I could be safe with the honey. But lavender is not my jush, and ginger, you know, but. This is great. The only thing, I do not use this all over my body. I do not use this every um, time I use these items. I use this when I do use it. If I'm going somewhere, I'll put this, rub it on my arm. I will not rub it on my body, my legs, or anything like that, but I will rub it on my arm. I wash my hands so much up to here and this is about where I will lotion up with the butter, the um, honey butter. It's basically up to here to where I wash my hands so much. If it would react with my eczema, it would be off in a couple of washes. You know, the fragrance would be off. It, it has an initial strong smell, an initial strong sweet smell. But the, this smell is still and you can see you don't need that much because i now i've only used this once or twice but you really don't need that much at all it's very thick very thick and um this smell is different from this smell 
this smell is severely, severely sweet. Severely sweet. To where it was almost nauseatingly sweet. But you do not need much. It is very thick. But like I say, these two are the best. This leaves a shine on the skin. This sugar scrub. It leaves a shine on the skin. Even when you rinse it, it leaves a shine. And so I could even go straight into, because I still lotion, even though I use my oils when I first get out the tub, shower, before drying off, I oil down. Then I pat dry. And I still use my um, regular lotion, which I use the Uracin and the Cetaphil lotion. Um, Cetaphil on my face, Uracin on my body. And... Um, that's pretty much my moisturizing. Unless I have a eczema flare-up. I've had some strong flare-ups when I've spoken to my um, doctor. Your allergies also play a part in your eczema. And if you have a bad allergy flare-up, it can flare up your skin, your eczema. I've had some spots on me that was eggplant purple as if it was a bruise from somebody hitting me. That's how bad my um, eczema has gotten. And when that comes into play, even though eczema is a drying of the skin, it can get to the point where it's dry and there's a dry layer of skin that stays on top. It hurts, but when I have a real bad flare-up, my friend is not only moisturizer, hydrocortisone cream, but actually exfoliating and paying attention to that particular area. I've had an area, like I said, that went, that got so bad so quickly to where it was literally like a purple bruise, almost like a blood clot. And I had to take my exfoliator. I get the, sometimes I get the sponge exfoliators from Walmart. The little um, white sponges look like a teardrop. And I will sit there and I will concentrate on that area. It's not nice. It's not easy because when you have flare-ups that bad, um, they are very sensitive, tender, even to water. The water can even burn you, burn your skin. But I had to sit there and exfoliate that. Sometimes even on my hands because I wash my hands so much. Wash my hands in bleach water. You know, I had to go to um, put vinegar in the water because sometimes um, my eczema flares up so much that the bleach is too strong. That's why when I um, take my baths now, my last step is to sit down in some apple cider vinegar water because that is a calming for the skin. And I believe since I have introduced that into my routine, I believe that's why I hadn't had a eczema flare up in a couple of years. Um, I would venture to say probably about five years I hadn't had one because that's how long it has been since I have introduced the apple cider vinegar into my bath. After I soap up, rinse off, I draw up a bath of water before I even get out. Sit down in that, um, I put a little alcohol because I love me some alcohol. I feel like it cleans out the pores. But I put more apple cider vinegar than alcohol in my water. And I sit there and I turn over and I stretch and I make sure to get every crack and crevice. We can see I'm a larger woman so I have rolls. And I sit down in my water and I lay down in my water and I turn over in my water and I open up spaces that don't naturally get water that can hold soap and things like that, that can hold dirt, that can hold sweat. And I let that water get to every part of my body. 
And I believe that um, that is why I have not had a severe eczema breakout. The um, moisturizer that I use, introducing um, oils into my moisturizing routine, then going into some good lotion, some good thick, heavy lotion. Um, I feel like that has upped my uh, moisturizing routine severely. Like I said, of all the, the items, this was worth every penny. Now, what I say is worth what they originally had it priced at, which was $17, I believe $17.95. No. This is a 10-ounce jar or container. This is not worth almost $20. This is not worth almost $20. It's worth the sale price that they had it at, which was, I believe, like $7.95 or... I forgot if I paid $7.95, $6.95, or $5.95. It was one of the two. One of the three. That's what this is worth. Another good scrub that I have used is the um, Dr. Teal scrub also in the Shea and Almond Oil. And I find that that is um, a good scrub. It, I don't feel like it leaves as much as a shine as this does. But it is a good scrub that does not irritate my skin. The fragrance is not too heavy in there. Um, I do want to get into the raw sugar scrubs and body wash. I'm just, like I say, I'm weary of a lot of fragrances. So I will have to take my time and see um, which ones will be a little bit more on low on the fragrance dial. But this and this was definitely worth the money. I paid the same price because they were all around the same, based around the same pricing. And I think it was 50% off of it. But these two things here, definitely. If I had to buy anything, if I was going to repurchase, it would be these three items right here. The body wash, the oil, and the scrub. I'm glad I got two scrubs. But if I had to sit here and repurchase anything, this would be first on my list, second, and third. So that is my review. I hope you enjoyed it. I plan on coming to you with another unboxing soon as everything comes in. You know, we just had the Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales. And I'm waiting on a couple of items to come in, a couple of new items that I'm trying for the first time. So I hope that you all come back. I hope that you all enjoyed. I hope that you sub, um, that you like, that you feel welcome to comment. And I do appreciate each and every one of you. We are up to 41 subscribers. And like I said, if we don't count my own subscription, we're up to 40. But I appreciate everything and everyone. Thank you.